Hi, this is Terry. I've lost 180 pounds with a combination of keto, carnivore, and counting calories. I started my journey in August of 2019 and reached my goal in November of 2022. Now that I've reached my goal, I'm focusing on my health, both physical and mental. Thank you for watching. Hello. Um, <clears throat> I've done a video like this before, but it's been a while and it's time and I share everything with you guys. So we're going to just do it. Um, so I have PCOS. PCOS is short for polycystic ovarian syndrome. And it's not like a disease. It's not a, it, it, it's just what it says. It's a syndrome. And so there's different things that come along with this. Some people may have um, excess facial hair. Some people may have, um, well, you have to have three of the symptoms. And they are, I don't remember all of them, but it is, um, it is facial hair, a low voice, um, hairy arms, irregular periods, and cysts on the ovary. So one of the things that I get to do every if I don't shave um, every day or two, then I have to wax. So I need to wax because I don't, I, it's so smooth when I don't shave. So um, I'm just getting all my hair out of the way so we can get this going. I have my cosmetology license. So I'll show you the things that I've bought. You might be able to get these same things elsewhere. <clears throat> just know my, it, I'm in my bathroom. Just ignore the mess. This is a Gigi brand wax machine. It's a wax warmer. Um, I have it on the lowest setting. I've had it higher and man, is it scald my skin off. It's got a little lid and my wax is in there. It's done heated up. And um, something else I use, again, since I can go to the beauty supply, it's called a GG Anesthetic Numbing Spray. So what I do is, before I wax, um, usually a couple minutes before I wax, I just spray. And then I'm going to be doing my upper lip, so I'm going to spray this. I'm just going to kind of pat it, make sure it gets all over. I should do under my lip too. I might have a better light. Give me just a second and I'll go get another light. I'm, I'm patting my nose like I'm doing my powder. Y'all, I'm so silly. All right, anyway, let me grab another light. Hang on. Well, I don't know if that's any better. Probably not, but it gave it... <laughs> It gave the antiseptic long enough to to uh, uh, work. So <clears throat> how I typically do it is I take a paper plate and then my little whatever. Right now we're going to do our upper lip first. So I dip it down in my wax and I get some on it. And I just kind of twirl it. This is why I hold the paper plate. I just kind of twirl it. I do that one. And while that hardens, I'm going to do a little under my chin here. Get little dark hairs down there. And then I usually kind of fan it a little bit. I don't do this side yet because I want to go cross over to right in between here. Okay, and I hate my upper lip. Hurt like the, even when I put the stuff on it, it still hurts. And then, yeah. There we 
go. The face ones hurt more for me than the, than the, the all this down here doesn't hurt as bad. So now we're going to do our other side of our upper lip. And now this one, I want to carry over to over across that little median. I know there's a there's a name for that part of your of your lip, but I don't remember it no moment. We don't have to know it right now. All right. So that is the little stuff. I don't do my eyebrows or nothing, y'all. I just do this right here. Now, in a minute when I do my face, it's a little hard to do. And you're not supposed to put the wax over where you've already waxed because, um, hang on. I just hate doing my lip. It just hurts. It makes me so mad. You ever like stump your toe or bite your lip and it just makes you mad because it hurts so bad? That's the way it is when I do my lip. I wish I could set y'all up here, but there's just nothing I can do to set y'all up there. Because I really, it's better when I look right in the mirror. Alright, <clears throat> now, I'm going to go on and trash this one because we're done with it. Next up, the big stuff. So I'm going to try to angle to where you can see me, okay? Um, I use I use a big one like this size for my, and you'll see in just a second. I'm going to stir up this wax. And when I put it on here, I just start turning. And then I go all the way up right in front of my ear. And all down through here. I'll get down on my lower part of my neck here in a minute. Now I'm going to do the same thing over on the other side. I'm going to have to buy some more wax. I don't know if I said that already, but I do. And I turn it so that way I'm getting the wax that rolls down to the bottom. So my the way I try to do it is I do my face like from here to here and then here to here. Man, this lighting is terrible. I just don't know, I don't know what to do. Because if I'm over here, I can see it better. That's all right, I'll, I'll, I'll keep whining. I'm gonna drop that in there and I'm gonna just fan. But you see why you have to use the paper plate? Because it, uh, it, it drips down. I've had it drip on my shirts and usually when I do it, I don't got a shirt on. But, all right, so now, now, I take this little thing here, and I go like this, just to kind of pop a little bit of the bottom loose. Can't. Okay. All right, so now, catch some of it. There we go. There we go. So we got that one. We're just trying to get off those little baby hairs. Okay. And now I'm going to do this one. Now. You want to hold it tight. There we go. It's kind of hard to see. Yeah. I'll see if I have a better one. I'll show you. I just kind of scrape off any extra. And I actually, I do most of that like after I'm all done. So, now we've got that part. Now, now I'm going to do like here to here and here to here. So I 
And then I'll probably do them, have to do the middle separate. I can't really tell since it's not overly bright. Yes, I'm still whining about that. And, I'll, and you don't want to do one long piece. No, 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 no. Now you could go somewhere and have and get this done. You know what I mean? I could go and have somebody do this and that'd work too. It's just cheaper to buy it yourself and do it yourself. So can you see? That kind of helps a little bit. So now we're doing that section. And in a minute, then we'll do the middle section. Then we'll come down here a little bit, down on the neck. So if I don't do this, what I find myself doing is sitting in front of my mirror. And um, in the evening time, I put on my little, the net, the mirror that goes around your neck. And, um, and then I will be plucking my dark hairs. Just not. There's a few. See that? That's that's what it's pulling out. And that's the whole point of this. That's the whole point of it is to get all those hairs. Many people will have baby hairs, but what happens when you have PCOS, for some people, we make a lot of extra hair, so we have, I have black hair, and um, now as I get older, I hear that as I get older, they'll turn gray, which is exciting for me, because then that means... Hang on, I'm going to take this all the way down. Because <clears throat> if they turn gray, then they'll just be white hairs. And then I won't have to, it will be, they'll be there and they'll be coarse. But they won't be quite as obvious on my pale skin as black. Now at this stage, while that's cooling, I think I'm going to go ahead and go down under here now. That got down on my shirt. And I feel it in some hair back here. That's all right. Let's see if I can get it off my shirt before it. Nope. Nope. It's on my shirt. We'll deal with it later. Can't be, can't cry over skills, spilled milk. Ain't got time to cry over spilled milk. Now we're going to do this side right here. Now, so now when we're done, we're going to get this strip and this strip, and then we'll be done. But first, let's get the center one. Got some wax on my fingers. Usually... Uh, Usually after I wax, I've got, they say you put baby oil, if you put baby oil on it, and it kind of helps break the, I don't know if you can see those little fine hairs or not, but um, if you use baby oil, it's supposed to help kind of clear, uh, help um, pull off, get some of the wax off your skin, which is great. But, it doesn't always work. So usually, like the evening time after I've waxed, I'm usually just kind of sitting there doing this right here. Just kind of scratching my chin to pull off any excess wax. So in theory, this whole section is done. 
it for, like I said, where I feel the wax. So next, I'm going to put some right here. I'll put some here, pull this off, and then put some there while that dries. Ugh, oh, got on my shirt again. Alrighty. I think I got it. Hang on, let me go in this mirror so I can see a little bit better. Okay. So now, let's go on and get this one off. Oh yeah, got some, that, look at that big one right there. So, I do understand this video is not for everybody. Now, I'm going to get this spot here. I understand this video is not for everybody. And to be honest, all my videos aren't for everybody who follows me. Sometimes I do random things, but, you know, if, if, you, if somebody has PCOS and, you know, they're... <clears throat> They get frustrated with it and don't really know what to do about it and you know and they feel kind of self-conscious about it just let you know you ain't alone so uh, all right. <clears throat> there we go how's that one? here's some teeny tiny because I have shaved recently so it's uh so there's not a lot i because i shaved recently but um i'm gonna scratch off some of this here come on bella i feel it i feel i find it like i said all evening i'll spend the whole evening or the whole afternoon oh man i got other videos to be making Y'all are going to be like, if this video isn't up yet, people are going to be like, why is your chin all red, girl? What happened? You got some serious rosacea going on. <laughs> okay. Make sure I go ahead. Okay. No wax is on my floor, so that's good. All right. So now our last one, and then we'll be done. Um, like I said, I have my nursing license, or my, I have my nursing license and my hair license. I did, um, I did hair for about seven years and then went to nursing school. Now I'm going to unplug this so it can start cooling down so I can put it away when it's done. But, um, uh, I did hair and so I have my hair license. So that's why I'm able to get like the hair products I use and, and, um, oh shoot, I should have kept that piece. Of paper. That's why I use the hair products I use and, and some of the, the, um, the items like the blow dryer and flat iron and stuff like that. Cause I can get it wholesale at the beauty supply. Cause I'm here to tell you. What you pay at the salon is doubled from what we pay at the beauty supply. And that may not be a very nice trade secret to tell you, but it's the truth. So, I figured I'd share that with you. Now, the products are worth it, don't get me wrong. But uh, I got a couple friends and they're like, uh, pick this up for me or pick that up for me. So... <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm going to call that as good enough, and I'll pick around on it tonight. So now, I take this washcloth that's been used and reused over the years, and I just take this, take some baby oil. That baby oil is so old, all the water, or all the writing's going. And I squirt it on here, and then I just kind of gum it up.
I wish you would take it off my shirt, but that'd make my shirt oily. So I don't really know. So I just have to remember to wash this shirt in cold, hot water. I don't remember if the wax comes off, to be honest, because, like I said, very rarely, very rarely do I wear a shirt when I do this. But, Alright, so now I can claw away and um, it would come off a little better. But that's how I handle my excess her hirsutism, hirsutism, whatever it's called. Anyway, that's how I handle all my excess hair, excess body hair. Like I said, I don't do this anywhere else. I don't do it on my, um, I don't. I don't do my arms, I don't do my legs, I just let that be that, and, and um, I shave my legs, but um, anyway, so, but I was no shave November on my legs for probably about three years, but this year I decided I'm going to start wearing, like, cropped pants and stuff, so, alright, well, now you know, that's, um, looks like a little scratch. Anyway, so that's how I do it, and, um, yeah, so there you go. That's how I wax myself, and that's how I keep my hair under control, um, if I don't feel like shaving. So, alright, I will see you guys in the next video. You know me, I'll share everything. Bye!